going on, everyone? Daniel here. It's time to review The Last Ship, Season 3, Episode 9, titled Paradise. Spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me about three minutes to recap and give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thank you so much for joining me. And a lot of crazy things happened this episode, man. I mean, I've loved Season 3 so far. A Last Ship has already been renewed for a Season 4, so next year, more episodes. Another awesome season. Hopefully... Tex returns, man, and still, Dr. Scott has to be alive, man, some way, somehow, because the way that they ended off at the end of Season 2 into Season 3, they never really talked about it. You know, they honored Dr. Scott, but is she really dead? I, I don't think so. There has to, They didn't even show, like, picking up right exactly at the moment where she got shot. So, either way, I've really been enjoying this season with Takahaya and, uh, you know, a bunch of different things. So many, so many some little arcs have been going on from, uh, you know, president to a new president to just so much crazy things going on. So, this episode definitely brought me, like, that love. Like, this is why I love The Last Ship. The way that they did the action the way that it felt intense and you actually felt like there was a threat in this episode so that's what I really liked uh, the most it gave you that little rush in there man which I like that little uh, adrenaline adrenaline rush uh, when I watch TV shows I don't like to sit there and be bored I actually like to have something and like oh shit like our crew's not gonna make it sort of thing so anyway and a lot of great directing in here man a lot of cool shots where I was like that's an amazing shot man like just make a, a screenshot of it. it looks pretty perfect for a desktop Anyway, let's get right on to it again. The episode is called Paradise. First off, they show like about four months ago. I think it was four months ago or four weeks ago. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. So these people are making the green mist and they're putting it in the missile and everything. So that's how it's being made. They ship it off to Vietnam and that's where everyone who is waiting to get the cure, and this is before the cure arrives, the green mist infects them. And thus, when they get the cure for the virus, it doesn't work. So that happens. Takahaya wants to help, and Chandler and his crew are on this island where they find this golfer, and this is where it's called Paradise. This is the island of Paradise, and there's people there, and there's a factory there where they're making t-shirts, but that's not all they're making. They're actually slaves there, and a little girl who's a slave who her parents were killed, and there's an ammunition factory in the middle of the island, so they go there, and it's a full-on trap. It's an attack, and they end up, uh, the guy, the golfer that brought him there ended up getting shot and killed, which is pretty, uh, I mean, the guy seemed like a weirdo and a bad guy, and he was trying to hide all that shit, so he deserved that little shot in the chest and everything, so there's warships going on, and that's where they learn, like, uh, the, the president, the Chinese president, uh, Peng, and all that, where he's like, that's where they're keeping all the weapons and the warship and stuff, and they have a bunch of different plans, genocide, basically, that's all Peng wants is genocide, so the warships are going on, Carrie has a uh, Dennis decipher this code, and this code basically has the location of all the places where Chandler and his crew were basically trapped in by, you know, the military of the Chinese. So that happens. The Nathan James and two other ships are in the water, and they're looking for these warships. They're looking for Peng and where he's hiding. And, well, they end up getting attacked, and there's a whole naval battle, you know, not really battleship because the missiles that are firing to them are on land. So either way, it's a big action scene. The other two ships are getting destroyed by missiles. Uh, Nathan James is letting out flares and everything. So the two ships are destroyed, and a lot of the crew are injured. So Nathan James sends out Nomad and a bunch of other people on boats, and they go save how many others. Uh, I mean, how many, uh, you know, all the survivors from the other boats. Some didn't survive. Some did. Uh, so they, you know, bring them back to the ship, patch them up, and well, now they're stuck on the Nathan James. So that happens. The White House has a mole. Uh, it's basically turned over to the dark side, at least from the looks of it. The president is talking to that girl. I don't know what her name is. She's blonde. She's been in the show. But she's there, and he's like, well, what are we doing or something? She's like, sit down, Mr. President. Do you know who you're talking to? Sit down, Mr. President. And then the two security guards come in. He's calling security, and she's like, they're my people. And at that moment, I was thinking to myself, we have only a few episodes left this season. I don't, I don't know how many episodes we have left, but like less than four episodes, less than five episodes. And I'm thinking to myself, why Why do you have... And I, I'm being honest because I love this show. I love what Chandler and the crew, you know, that was intense stuff that they did. And this was intense too. The girl that was threatening the president, that was all intense. I felt it. But the thing is, is I was like, really? 
really? Do you have to create a whole nother problem here? I'm more interested in what's going on with Chandler's group than what's going on in America in the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole White House problem and the girls threatening the president and she's working with the other people and the mayor, like the whole other senators and shit. So the girl threatens the president, Rivera, and the uh, Senator Bailey end up getting killed, and Cara witnesses it and everything, and Rivera says to Cara, Car uh, or Carrie, I think her name's Cara, she's like, or he's like, you gotta run, you're not safe here. So at the end, she ends up walking away from the building, uh, police are in the back and everything, and she's kind of walking away from the devastation. All that, I'm kind of thinking, I like what Chandler did, all that stuff was awesome, and that threat... Yes, I why I don't I don't like the whole idea of where the girls going and the whole mole crap and all that. Maybe that'll be more interesting next week. But you know, we only have a few episodes left, and you're creating this whole new arc of a new villain and stuff when we should just be worried about Ping and all. You know what I mean? Like that's just me personally. You guys may feel different, but I'm saying for me, I don't care about this new white the villain, the White House, and the new mole and. I don't. I'm more interested in getting paying and fighting that off, you know what I'm saying? So don't start something when we only have a few episodes left. It's not like we have ten episodes left, so that's something that maybe you should have saved for season four or something. Maybe they're going to carry it on to season four, uh, but the pros for this episode, man, that I loved... Uh, I love the opening a lot. The whole making of the green mist and everything. And they're putting in the little balls and they're putting in the rocket launcher or the rocket or the missile, excuse me. And it's so cool because the way that they made it, I'm like, that's how they do it. And they're like using the flame and shit and whatever. They're making it. And I thought it was a cool opening. I really thought it had kind of backstory to it. And they showed it going to Vietnam and the mist. And it's a dud. <laughs> it's a dud. It wasn't a dud, the green mist, and they all got infected. Uh, the action in here again, man. I love the way that they did it. It's intense. They're fighting. You think they're going to get shot. Chandler's being a badass, shooting the weapon. Uh, and even the action on the boat and Nathan James trying to, you know, it's trying to be safe. And that shot, there's a lot of cool shots. Whoever directed this episode, whoever the cinematography was for, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The whole... When Chandler and, like, the Nathan James, the glass broke and they got pushed back, that was just perfect. There are so many cool shots in this episode, and you actually felt like the Nathan James was under attack, for real. It was, it, it, you know, Chandler could have got really badly hurt. They're bleeding, everyone on the top is bleeding. It was intense. You felt that threat happening. The effects there, too, even the blowing up, yes, it did look a lot of CGI. It looked kind of like... Eh, but for the effects for the show was really good for the uh, bombings. Rivera, uh, Rivera de uh, being dead, I thought that's something that's awesome because he was annoying as hell, so I'm glad he's dead. Uh, and also, saving the people, them being heroes, obviously helping out the others. I'm glad that they showed that, uh, which was really cool to see. Cool shots of the directing, and as well as how intense and the threat was and all that stuff, too. Uh, is, again, you felt the threat. So the only cons for this episode that I didn't like, the things that I wasn't that into, was the girl being a bad person, or, you know, she has, she... Whatever her motive is and everything, I don't care. I don't. I could give less of a shit for her. I don't think she's a cool character. I think she's dumb. I don't care for what her plan is, honestly. Like... This whole thing that they're doing, I don't care. I don't. Uh, what happened to the town? Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I wrote down. I was like, what happened to that town? The one that Chandler, the paradise, what happened to it? What happened to the slaves? Did you help them afterwards? Did, well, what's going to happen to them? Uh, little things. I mean, I'm not taking points off of that, but I'm saying, what? Ha don't you want to know what happened to paradise after that? I mean, are they let free? Are they let go? Are they let on the Nathan James? Are they going to, you know what I mean? Like, what's happening? What, what, what happens to them? Uh, as well as this whole new villain idea, I don't care for, like I said, I don't like it. Um, I could care less about the White House scenes for one thing, because all of a sudden, Kara has a girl, uh, I mean, a guy to decipher stuff, and all of a sudden, like, it's like 24, it's like going to Jack Bauer, and then it's going back to the CTU, but yet the CTU is so boring, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of the scenes are very boring, unless it's like Chloe being like, oh my god, like, something's happening, Jack, what's going on, Chloe, you know, like, something big. But usually the office scenes are just boring. I don't care. And I know it's all part of the story. It's apocalyptic and everything. And it's post-apocalyptic world, all that crap. 
I mean, I liked Kara in the scenes that she was in and everything. I'm glad that she made it out alive and that, you know, she's a badass. I loved her in season one, season two. But maybe it's time to stop working for the White House and just go home and be with your baby. I, I'm mean, being like, you know what I mean? Like, just get out of the job and go be with your baby and that's it, you know? Uh, we need, maybe she needs to call Tex. That's what she should do. She needs to call Tex and then maybe he's with Dr. Scott in the secret area. How cool would that be? A lot of cool things could go on, man. Uh, but overall, I'm going to give this episode of The Last Ship a B+. Plus. You know, I thought it was a really good episode. All the stuff with Chandler was fun, the way it was directed, the shots of it, the action, the effects. It was awesome working as a team, obviously, as they do best. Wolf kicking ass, uh, Dan uh, Danny kicking ass. Just everything was cool for that. And it was intense with the girl making the threat. But then again, this whole new, you know, you must join us or whatever. And, you know, I'm like, shut up. Like, you think you're in a high power and everything. You're not. You you know what I mean? Like, don't do this. Don't. I'm honestly, I. that's the only thing I hated about this episode the most. Like, oh, why do you have to do that? It would have been an A. It would have been a solid A. You know, maybe A minus, but uh, B plus. So comment down below. I want to know your thoughts on The Last Ship. What, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you like the idea of this new villain? Or do you even like the White House scenes? Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that too, or maybe not the White House, but the the president scenes and all that. I think some of them are interesting, like some of the things were interesting, but Rivera and him sneaking, he's sneaking on Kara and everything. What would it matter? He died at the end of the episode, so all that build up and everything was for nothing because he died at the end of the episode. Waste of time, you're wasting my time. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just little stuff like that. But overall, that was a really good episode. Could have been great, but. All of Chandler's stuff was fun to watch. Next week even looks awesome. It looks even way more better because Chandler's getting arrested and he's like, no, you're not a higher state of power and everything. I thought that was really cool. So uh, if you enjoyed the review, guys, make sure to leave the like button or hit the like button. I really would appreciate it. Excuse me. It is 6 in the morning, man. Uh, yeah, so excuse me for that. Uh, comment down below. Share with your friends. Until next time, I'll see you next week for more of The Last Ship. Bye-bye.